Enlightenment Garden here. It is mid-December. Coming to you from the Phoenix, Arizona area. And today I'm going to talk to you about a project I just started this weekend to install a frame that will serve as a cold frame in the winter and a shade house in the summer. So just to talk a little bit about the construction, you can see it's got an A-frame roof. Ten foot lengths, so this is 20 feet in all. What was nice about this kit is it include the tension wires that are going to give it more stability in the wind. So the installation of this was a little bit more difficult just because I'm not working on a level ground. Most people will install this on cement using the um, attached foot pads. You know, they'll anchor those into the cement pad and it'll be all level. Here I've got a slope. You can see in front here is a much higher level and then it goes down from there. Uh, it's actually perfect for growing plumeria because they don't like wet feet. Um, having this slope kind of ensures that even if we get hit with a lot of rain in the winter, it's not going to settle around the roots of these plants. So to make this level, I had to dig quite a bit on this higher plane so that I could get the post congruent with the other side. See their feet at the bottom? There's a hole running through the very bottom of your foot post. So you slide this on the bottom post and it has a hole there where you can feed through the bolt and wing nut that they include. And I opted to use the feed on the higher plane so I dug down probably about 18 inches. Uh, they include some stakes. So I staked these into the ground and then I'm going to pour cement in. And this is going to keep it from moving. This is more of a permanent structure for me. So I'm making sure that it's not going to go anywhere. To set the posts, I'm using ready to mix quickcrete. You just pour this into your hole with the post and then add water for it to set. So here's one that I've already done. 60 pounds of concrete, and I'll just top it off with some soil. Now on the other side, I couldn't dig as far because this has to be level at the end of the day. So on this side, where I'm not digging as far, I went with a different approach. I didn't attach the foot pad that they include. I left it with just the uh, pipe. But before I put this down into the ground, what I did was I pounded a Blue Hawk steel rod into the ground. And just like I've shown in another video where I use this with PVC, you can see there are pre-drilled holes running through the length of this pipe. So I sunk this two feet into the ground and then I lifted up the foot post and slid it over. I lined up the holes and I threaded a hundred pound wire through that Then I'm going to tie it off. This is solid. It's not going anywhere. This is the one thing I've heard with these in a wind, a strong wind they can sail off if they're not secure in the ground. So this was my approach. Plumeria can handle a light freeze for a couple hours and can survive that, but the tips will die if subjected to successive hours below freezing, at or below freezing. 
So for people that are really serious about growing plumeria like I am in the Arizona area, cold protection is, is a must. We've had a couple of mild winters, but I know we're due for a cold one and my yard has gotten down to 25 and those temperatures will wipe out my entire plumeria garden here. So to protect my investment, that's why I put this up.